Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to Robin's Beauty Over 50. Today, I'm going to be doing a minimal face look. I know. I don't do these often, and I really don't think I look well with just minimal makeup on. But if I'm just going to the store or if I'm just hanging around the house and I don't have anything to do in particular that day, I will do this look right here. And the reason my cheeks look so prominent is because I don't have anything on my eyes. So if you would like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, ladies, I'm going to show you how I do a minimal makeup look and this is a minimal look for me so it's probably not going to be a minimal look for most people because I will use more makeup than the average person for a minimal look so with that said let's just go ahead and hop into it I'm going to be using my supernova um, elixir by flower beauty just to give my face an extra glow this morning I'm also going to be using the it illuminating so, yes, I will be glowing, <laughs> but I love that look. So, I've got all of that rubbed in. I'm going to put that back up here. Then I'm going to be going in with the um, It CC Illuminating, and this is in the color medium. And it is, I love this stuff. Um, it spreads easy, and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I'm going to try and use just one little thing of it. Um, but I find that my base, my face is the base, so to get the no, I don't think it's a no makeup look, but get a minimal makeup look going here. It's going to be very, very dewy, <clears throat> but with my eyes as dark as they are around them, I like, um, a dewy look. I will madamize it. Is that how you say that word? <clears throat> I will take it down a little bit with some powder so it's not so in your face bright here. Like, I can see Robin coming from a mile away. Look at the <laughs> face. So I'm going to put all of that, make sure all of that is blended in. And for my uh, minimal looks, there are some steps that I do skip. Uh, when I just want to get out the door and not worry about things. And concealer is not one of those steps. So we're going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to use the Age Rewind and the Brightener. And I'm going to do that. Put that on here. <clears throat> the face is pretty much face and a little bit of eyes and lips and a little bit of cheeks are my minimal. So I got that, then I'm going to go in with um, my Super Stay. I'm just going to put a little bit of that underneath. Because <clears throat> this is like a look when I'm, it's like a Saturday look, when I'm just sitting around doing nothing and I want to wear a little bit of makeup. And those days are rare for me. I, if I don't wear make, if I don't get up, go to my makeup room and do makeup, then I'm pretty much not going to do makeup that day. All right, now I'm going to just use a little bit of powder to set the under eyes, which is this right here. It's the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring. Put that all underneath my eyes. I usually have two steps for doing that. I'm not going to do that today. <clears throat> then I'm going to take... Um, a drugstore product and madamize, mad, what do you, how do you say it? Madamize? I don't know. Um, to mat up my face a little bit instead of having this whole great big bright shining thing. So I'm going to take the, what is this? This is the NYX, the NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat. And I have this in. What is this? What is this in? I can't see it. Creamy Natural. I think that's what it's called. It's this color right here. It's it's a light shade, but it does it doesn't come off. 
crazy light. But it does, does mattify. Mattify, that's the word I was looking for, right? <laughs> so I want to put that down my, my neck, smooth that out a little bit. And all over. So that is that. That is the base of the face. Now I'm going to just do just the tiniest, tiniest bit of eyebrow. I'm going to just make sure that they're defined, but I'm not going to go to the steps that I normally go to with my eyebrows. Just going to make sure that they are defined. My eyebrows need some work because they are just not as thick as they once were. And just try and get that arch up a little bit. <clears throat> just to, you know, give it some shape and definition and to where it looks like it'll show up a little bit better than not doing anything to it. All right, looks about right. Usually I spend quite a bit of time on my brows, but I'm not going to do that for this look. So, there is that. That's all I'm going to be doing with my brows. Put that away. Then I'm going to just lightly, lightly put some of this uh, Secret Blurring Primer on my eyes as a base. And that's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to use anything else on my eyes. So this is like, I'm going to use this as like the light eyeshadow that I would normally use. That's it. I'm not putting any shadow on my eyes. So, then I'm going to go in with just mascara. I don't have any eyeliner on. I don't have uh, any wing no wing. Just going to put the eyelashes on the top here. Get those done. Okay, those are my lashes with just one coat of mascara on them. I'm going to go back in with a second coat and then I'll do my lower lash in just a little bit after I finish with my face. Since I went so very light on my eyes with absolutely nothing on. See, I don't do this often, so this is not in my um, comfort zone. So I'm comfortable with a full face, a full face of makeup. I'm going to do my, my lower lashes in just a minute so they don't smear. Um, now I'm going to go in with blush, and I'm not going to use any bronzer. I'm just going to use blush. So I've got the Ghost palette here, and I'm going to go in with this color right here. And that's got a lot of pink, a little bit of purple in it, and I'm just going to warm up my cheeks. <clears throat> Brighten that look up a little bit so I don't look so dead. But I found that if I get my face pretty, pretty done, that I, you know, I can go out and not look as dead as if I just went out without anything on. Look at that. Sometimes I will take my blush. And I will take the, the tip of my brush and I'll just go like this lightly over my over my lid to give myself a little bit of color right there. Where it looks like I've done a little something but I really haven't. <laughs> okay. That is pretty much it. And then I will go in with um, a mascara to go underneath my eyes. 
and I will finish that up finish the eyes up with a little mascara on the lower lash <clears throat> and then I usually I mean if I'm only doing minimal I'm going to turn this off so it's not so bright you can see it's just minimal makeup I will go in with just um, a little bit of uh, gloss and I like this Put the gloss on this is um mally in her color mally baby i don't have a i don't have a a pencil on i just have this gloss so i cut that down to 10 minutes so you know my regular routine takes good close to an hour to do it's very very in-depth so that is my minimal look. I will be back with my hair and everything done. Thank you ladies so much for sticking around with me today while I showed you this very minimal makeup look. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you, so click that little subscribe button down below. If you are, thank you so much for supporting me, and I will be back here on Thursday with my Throwback Palette Thursday. You guys have a wonderful week.